She is three times more perceptive than the rest. And twice as tough as she appears to be. It is Naru who discovers the presence of a new monster on their territory initially. Maybe it had anything to do with the earlier sighting of the fiery streak of fire in the sky. Tob hardly notices Naru following them as they search for a lion. That has been skulking around in their first scenes together. Nid Thunder and Beavers establish an easygoing sibling bond. When the true danger materializes, their bond only heightens our concerns, a skin snake and prints that do. The bear sequence is so masterfully choreographed that it's a shame Prey didn't give us a close-up of the predator earlier. An oozing of blood reveals the unseen predator as it yanks the bear from its pursuit and lifts it up for the kill. When Naru sees this, she bolts like crazy, this marks the street. Numerous and polite French fur trappers increase the risk factor and provide viewers craving predator-style mayhem with fresh meat, thinking that the buffalo skins are the monster's creation. Naru prays over them when she comes across a field of them. She quickly discovers that man that other malevola Even if there aren't any choppas for anyone to reach in 1719, Prey is a suitable successor to Arnold's original. Naru is deserving of a spot on the roster of resilient characters, capable of withstanding the predator. She takes on all of her enemies with equal parts cunning and might eliminate it. Fans of Predator won't be let down by Prey. Despite the predictable complaints from young men who haven't seen the film yet, but are already calling it to woke. It's an exciting and frightening ride in an amusement park that also provokes an unexpectedly sensitive emotional reaction. I cheered. <laughs> 